these are the documents which are being presented today to the grand jury that's meeting right now at this moment. Okay, there is an affidavit of criminal complaint, which is all that I need. Look okay. at okay, it here. It's the only requirement that I have to meet. And then the second document is a citizen's arrest warrant. Mr. Petway's named in this document. So I'm here today to conduct the citizen's arrest. You are under arrest. Sir, You're under citizen's you arrest. I'm charging you, Mr. Petway, with treason. Sir, sir, you have to leave the room, sir. Please. I'm charging please you. Please leave the room. Treason. Please leave the room, sir. I'm charging you with official oppression. Mr. Fitzpatrick, please leave the room. Please leave the room. Please you are under arrest. Please leave the room. Placing you under arrest, Mr. Petway. You are under citizen's arrest. Placing you under I arrest, you to leave the room, you sir. Now come with I've me. asked you to leave the room. Officers, will you escort this gentleman out of the room? Mr. Petway is under citizen's I arrest. America, we have a problem. It was just discovered that in the 10th District of Tennessee, with its headquarters being Monroe County Courthouse in Madisonville, Tennessee, for the past 25 years, they have been holding illegal grand juries using the same grand jury foreman, which is completely illegal and against their own state laws, which require that the grand jury foreman only serve for two. He has been there doing this now for 27 years. It originally started with trying to get a grand jury to convene for the purpose of looking at voter fraud in relation to the election of Barack Obama. And in the process of trying to get a grand jury to look at that, it was discovered that all of this illegal activity was going on within the grand jury at this courthouse. Now, Colonel Fitzpatrick had absolutely no idea of this when he started the process. And by challenging this, he is now arrested and he is incarcerated and has been since 1030 in the morning on April 1st. He has been sitting in the Madisonville Sheriff's Office. He is on a hunger strike. He did this for us. What do you intend to do for him and for this country if we don't come to his assistance, if we don't get to the courthouse, if we don't call him, if we don't walk and march on that courthouse and that sheriff's department? We don't deserve the freedoms we have. I know what I must do. I plan on marching on that courthouse. I will be asking for his release, and I will be asking for the arrest of those involved, and I would ask that you join me. Again, this man put his life, his honor, his fortune on the line for us in very much the same fashion as our founding fathers did. And this is it. This is the moment in time that you who have been on the fence must get off of that fence. Please go to the courthouse in mass. Demand justice. He is honoring his oath. To all of you out there who have taken that oath, I ask you right now to honor yours. Get down there. Get him out of jail. And make sure that justice is served. My name is Carl Swenson. I want to thank you for listening to this. Thank you.